Alright, welcome back everybody and welcome to the second part of the complete guide on how to get more high ticket coaching clients through YouTube ads. So as you already see in the previous video we talked about the YouTube ads framework. If you haven't watched that video, um, watch this video first, definitely before you start watching the second part here. Watch the first part first. And uh, we talked about um, why YouTube ads are superior to Facebook ads and why they're usually an better strategy than organic marketing strategies. Um, we also talked about the YouTube ads framework. We talked about the right funnels for YouTube ads when it comes to generating leads and booking appointments and how to structure those funnels. And now we're going to talk about the audience targeting, how to target your ideal client on YouTube ads. We will talk about the power of retargeting ads. I will give you ideas on how to use retargeting ads and what are retargeting ads actually. Yeah, and then of course we will also talk about how to scale YouTube campaigns profitably. Okay, so let's get right into this. Targeting the ideal client on YouTube. What options do you have on Facebook? So for all of you who tested Facebook ads in the past, you most likely you can remember how that looks like on Facebook. You have certain demographics you can target, you have a geography, wonderful. I want to target women between 30 and 55 and they shall be based in the US. Wonderful. Okay. That's already quite good. Then of course you can combine this with interests. Uh, what are the interests of those guys? Are they interested in losing weight if you're selling a weight loss program? Or are they interested in, I don't know, any kind of software coding languages? If you want to help introverted guys with their dating, you can target this on Facebook um, amazingly well. You can even target certain affinities and lookalike audiences so you can tell Facebook, look, give me people who look very similar to my ideal clients or my existing clients and build an audience out of this. And in this intersection there, there is your ideal client. So, so far so good. But this is very, a very limited amount of options you have on Facebook compared to YouTube. And that's what we will touch on next. YouTube ad targeting. I know this might look a little bit overwhelming now because you have so many different options, but I tell you, once you understood what those options are and you tested these, you have so many different options that you can test and one of those audiences will always perform. And this is the amazing thing on YouTube. It's just a matter of testing. Uh, it's not really a matter of hoping, uh, it's just a matter of testing till you find the best audience and you have so many amazing options there. So let's cover this. Same spiel as on Facebook, you have demographics and geography, wonderful, but here additionally you have household income. And this is so crucial when it comes to selling high ticket services on, on YouTube. Because we want to work with people who can afford our services, who have buying power, who are maybe even somehow affluent to a certain degree. Okay, So we want to work with people, let's say, the top 40% of income uh, income ho household incomes for instance the top 40 percent in our country of household income yeah and we want to cut out the 60 percent of lower household incomes yeah and that's amazing because then you see better results right away the lead quality is better right away we've tested this in the past trust me this is basically a no-brainer once you understood that this uh, option exists on YouTube compared to Facebook. Then we we'll also here again, we want to look for an intersection, the intersection between interest somehow and our demographics. There's our ideal client. But now we have different options here on YouTube. We can target keywords. Let's say if people are actively looking for a solution, how to write a best-selling book, how to scale my business to 50K, how to scale my coaching business to 50K per month how to talk to women if you're a dating coach. <laughs> you can target exactly this because then you will get people who have the problem you can solve. Yeah. You can target placements and this, let's bring it to a full circle now when I was talking in the last video about targeting competitors on YouTube. Placements are videos. What are the videos you your ads will show up in front of those videos, right? And this might be videos from your competitors. If they got a YouTube channel, you can target those channels then. If you got a YouTube channel yourself, you have an existing audience, then YouTube advertising is basically a no-brainer. And you most likely will book appointments for $30 or something if you do it correctly. Yeah. You can place or you can you can sh you can 
place your videos in front of your own channel, you can retarget your own channel. This is extremely powerful. And then you can test different YouTube channels of competitors and see which one's best. It's a very good beginner strategy. As you're starting out with YouTube ads, keywords, placement, placements and custom affinity audience, what we'll, uh, we will talk about this in a minute. Those are the three best targetings for beginners. Then what also exists are in-market audiences, topics, similar audiences. Similar audiences just like a lookalike audience on Facebook. This is basically the same than a lookalike audience on Facebook. On YouTube or Google, it's called a similar audience. Then you have custom affinity audiences. There you can literally take the URL, the website of one of your competitors, enter it there and you can get customers or you can get viewers on your ads who are similar to the website traffic of your competitors. Amazing. How amazing is that? And then you have custom intent audiences. I don't want to go too deep into how, do, how those audiences then work. Uh, topics are also here, different interests in market is also here, different segments, um, different market segments, if you will. Custom intent audiences. This is what are people searching for on Google. Yeah, You basically evaluate what people are searching for on Google and translate it into YouTube. Yeah, so this is basically taking Google traffic or the search intent of Google traffic and putting it onto YouTube works amazingly well because the audience here is a little bit broader. Look, keywords, placements, and custom affinity audiences, there are more narrowed audiences, but placements, uh, but in market audiences, topic, similar audiences, custom intent audiences, they are broader. It is more difficult to find an ad that really performs on those audiences, but once you found an ad that performs on those audiences, you can scale this to the moon, and this is crazy. Yeah? In the beginning, you want to concentrate on more narrowed audiences, you want to make money with those smaller audiences, it is easier for you to get the foot into the door when it comes for YouTube advertising, but later on you want to be testing audiences that are broader to find winning ads there and scale those audiences then, because there, there is an unlimited nearly um, a limited amount of people you can reach via those audiences then compared to very narrow audiences like on a YouTube channel a placement or something. Yeah? And then in this intersection here there will be your ideal client. And this is so amazingly powerful on YouTube especially because we have the option to target a certain household income there. Yeah? And we have the option to literally target things that people are actively searching for. This is really really nice. This is really nice. So let's circle back now, real quick, to the funnels that we talked about in the first part of this video. Yeah, we want to be using a VSL or webinar funnel um, and drive YouTube traffic onto this. And as I said, we can push, we can push results with retargeting ads and email and follow up. And now let's talk about the power of retargeting and what that actually is. So we call this a concept. This is so-called an omnipresent retargeting approach, if you will. What does this mean? So retargeting ads are basically ads that are following up with people who visited your website or watched the video there to a certain length or whatsoever. Now you're following up with people over and over again. You're showing up over and over again. You're nurturing the relationship with your clients. You're building rapport over time. You build trust over time just by showing up over and over again. And just because you're running ads on YouTube, it doesn't mean that you have to have to focus only on YouTube retargeting ads. No, what makes even more sense is using a so-called omnipresent approach. You have a retargeting ad on YouTube, you have a retargeting ad on Facebook, you have a retargeting ad on Instagram, on Google, and everywhere. You will follow your prospect everywhere. It doesn't matter where they hang out. You will show up. And that's why it's so powerful. Uh, indoctrinating the client then, or the prospect with this. Yeah, I, I want to give you some ideas on what to uh, ideas for retargeting ads in the next slide here. Yeah? But just now, for you to understand, it's about nurturing the relationship. It's about following up here with those ads. And you can use this, do this on all platforms. And usually those ads are not too expensive. Usually they're relatively cheap because the audiences that you follow up with, they're relatively small compared to a broad cold audience. So usually those ads are not too expensive. And usually they have the highest return on ad spend. Because for most people, it simply takes time. You have to build a relationship with those guys, you know? It takes time. And usually those retargeting ads are very profitable. 
Yeah. You can also follow up via email automations. Since we've been asking for an email address in this application form, you can have an automated um, emailing sequence like on uh, Active Campaign or MailChimp or something. Works well as well. Works well as well. This is follow up, following up as well. Giving content out there, giving value then via email, having call to actions here and there. Nice. You can also follow up via the phone if you're asking for a mobile number in your opt-in, in your application form. If you have a sales team or something, you can call those leads up and ask if there is still a need for your service or something, if you could not close them on a call. Of course. Yeah. So this, But I don't want to go too deep into this now. Email and automation, I, I just want to briefly touch on this. Let's focus now on, on retargeting ads. I want to give you some ideas here. Of course, you can use different contents. You have different ads that uh, that address or let's say the um, different ads that attack the audience from different angles uh, that works as well you can use different psychological triggers in those ads you can address different buying motive motives in those ads which basically comes down to addressing the audience or attacking the audience from different angles you can even use the same ad this works amazingly well on Facebook you know, just retargeting with the same ad just showing the same ad to those people over and over again or this already works quite well. But the more, the closer they get to the bottom of this funnel, yeah, the closer they get to the uh, to your um, to a close, yeah, to a close in terms of becoming your client, you can use the different ideas. Here you can use testimonials, showing interviews, video testimonials, yeah, especially on YouTube, very powerful. You can handle objections. Take the five most important objections. Handle them in a short video. Bust myths. If people have certain misconceptions about your services or something, you can talk about this. Look, um, losing weight is not a problem. If you if you if you're somebody who's thinking you cannot lose weight because of your genetics, that's not true. I tell you why. Just as an example, you know. You can explain how the mentoring works or how the free consultation session works. What can people expect on a consultation call like this? What do they get out of this? Yeah, very, very interesting. Which also ties down a little bit into handling objections and maybe showing testimonies. You can use a combination out of this. You can play around with this. But those are just some ideas that you can use for retargeting ads then later on. Okay. Very powerful. Use this on all platforms. As I said, they're usually not too expensive, those ads, but they're, they're extremely profitable. Yeah. Especially retargeting on Facebook and Instagram works, uh, works well. You run the cold traffic from YouTube. You're getting new viewers from YouTube ads and retargeting predominantly on Facebook, Instagram. Works amazingly well. This is, this is, I, this is a no-brainer, if you will. So the last part here of this, of this comprehensive and complete guide how to profitably scale now those campaigns. This is relevant to everyone here who is already running some YouTube campaigns and say, ah, I, I reached a certain cap limit. I don't know how to put more money into the system, how to keep it profitable. And I'm losing profitability when I put more money into this. So I tell you what to do now. Look, the first thing you need, and I already touched on this when, it, um, when we were talking about targeting on YouTube, we need a winning ad for a broader audience. Yeah, keyword placements, custom affinity audience, they're relatively narrow, so you cannot put in a limited amount of money into this, since you do not have enough people in this audience. So you need a broader audience and need to find an ad that performs in this broader audience. At least a return on ad spend of two. It's okay. Ideally, of course, more, but at least a return of two in this broader audience. So then... Once you've got more than 50, it's relatively hard to say. It's a little bit difficult. Between 50, you need between 50 and 200 conversions in your ads manager. So the Google Ads Manager understands who is your ideal client. And then you change from maximize conversion bidding onto CPA bidding, cost per acquisition bidding. Yeah, maximize conversions is basically you get as many conversions for the cheapest price as possible. The same, it's basically the same as on Facebook, but on Facebook you always use this maximize conversions, maximize volume. Yeah? Give me most conversions for the lowest price. Of course, for retargeting ads, you can use on Facebook manual bidding to show up on top yeah, to build this omnipresence, but I don't want to touch on this in this, in this video. Um, but on YouTube, there is CPA bidding, and you basically say, look, 
I want to have booked appointments for, let's say, $100. Give me appointments for $100. And YouTube will show your ads to the right kind of people where they can say, ah, it should be possible to give you this appointment here for $100. And this brings you extremely stable results. Yeah, the results here are much more stable with CPA bidding compared to maximized conversions. And this is easier to scale for you. Yeah. For retargeting, it's something different. For retargeting, you still want to use, want to be using maximized conversions, but I don't want to talk about this here in this video. Keep on testing ad creatives, audiences, and placements. It's a continuous process of testing. Please never forget this. There's, there will always be an audience that performs better than your current audience. There always might be an ad that performs better than your current video ad. Keep this in mind. Maybe allocate 20% of your budget into testing yeah, and 80% into scaling. Then you need to hyper-optimize funnel and campaigns. Very important here again. Yeah. Of course, you want to split test different webinars. You want to optimize webinars and VSL, VSLs. You want to optimize the landing page. And all this, you will optimize. You want to be optimizing the application form, the calendar maybe, the sales process. Everything must be hyper-optimized yeah, to get the best out of it. At a certain point in time, you even may need a sales team. Of course, that's given. The more appointments you book, some at a certain point in time you will be fully booked out, right? And you need a larger team, you need more team members. And now the last pro tip. This is some something no one really talks about. And this is having an excellent fulfillment. And I tell you why. In order to scale YouTube advertising campaigns or advertising campaigns in general, you need to put a lot of money that you generate back into the system, right? To scale it fast. And if you want to be scaling fast, you need this cash flow. You need cash flow. And where does cash flow comes from? come from? Firstly, you need to have a very low refund rate. Secondly, people need to compl complete their payment plans. People even sometimes need to give you referrals. People need to give you testimonials because this will push your organic marketing strategies to get more to make more money out of an existing client. Maybe even you need to add another upsell, yeah, another higher upsell to increase customer lifetime value. I should put it like that. The customer lifetime value is the most important thing here. It rises and falls with your customer lifetime value. If you have a large one, it is a no-brainer. It is easy to scale. If you have a short one, it will be difficult because the higher your customer lifetime value, um, the more money you will be able to put back into the system. And therefore, uh, and by doing this, you're able to scale these campaigns quite fast. But the key here is having an excellent fulfillment. You need to deliver excellent results with your service. Okay, this is the last pro tip, if you will, and no one really talks about this. Yeah? The actual success of your advertising campaigns is in your audience understanding, it is in your sales process, and it is in your fulfillment. It is, in the rarest cases, it is the funnel or the targeting or something. No, really. Think about this. If you have a huge customer lifetime value and you can afford high lead, lead prices, then it's a no-brainer. And at the end of the day, the one with the highest, the one who can afford the highest lead prices will dominate the market in the long run. That's always the case. Yeah. So please think about this very important concept here. So how to realize now all of this? I, I know I mentioned so many different things. I can imagine if you're, especially if you're a beginner, this was quite overwhelming. We talked about the ad frameworks and the targeting. We talked about here how to scale those campaigns. And it might even seem so far away, if, especially if you're just starting out with YouTube ads. How to realize now all of this? You have different options. Option one would be, of course, try it yourself. I want to encourage you, test it. It is worth testing it, okay? Please do not underestimate YouTube ads. If you know how to sell your service, if you understand your audience, if you have a good fulfillment, and this is if you do this correctly, just like I told you here in this in this two videos here, it should work for you. Yeah, this YouTube advertising should be a no-brainer for you. So it's not like a big deal, and this is rocket science. And so, uh, I, ba I basically gave you all the tools you need here. But keep in mind, keep in mind, you might burn money. If you're not doing this with an expert, of course, it might happen that you burn a lot of money compared to what you pay uh, for an expert who is doing this for you. Yeah? So the, basically, the expert fee is cheaper than the amount of money you will be burning if you're doing if you're not doing it correctly. And to be honest, 
of course, you also have to have experience in doing this. So I want to encourage you to test it yourself, but take it with a grain of salt here. So because if you do not have the experience, it might become challenging. Second option, of course, you can buy a course. There are online courses out there. There are programs out there um, um, on how to start YouTube advertising, how to run YouTube campaigns, and so on and so forth. They're usually quite expensive, and they're usually a group coaching. Um, there are some programs that are really good that teach you how to do this correctly, but the feedback, this is the problem that I have with those prog pro programs. You, you barely get feedback back because it's then a group coaching here and then you get a tip a trick and how to do this this and that but there's no personalized one-on-one -on -one approach there and the risk of failing especially if you invested five thousand dollars into an online program like this the risk of failing is relatively high because you still have to do it yourself yeah keep that in mind what might be a better option you can book a free call with us yeah, this is not going to be a sales call i tell you this right away you can book a free call with us we can have a look at your personal situation. I will personally take a look at your marketing, at your positioning, uh, at your sales process also, and I can see if it makes sense for you to start running YouTube ads or ads in general, if it makes sense or if it's not the right thing for you. If you're advanced and you have YouTube ads running, we can take a look at your ads, we can discuss them, we can take a look at your ads manager. Usually if there's something off, I see this in a few minutes and I can tell you what you have to change in your ads manager, in your targeting, in how you set up your ads. Sometimes people create a mess in their ads manager and they're not able to track the results properly anymore. Sometimes even the tracking itself is off, right? Might happen. I will see this. If YouTube ads are not the right thing for you, um, we, can re we can recommend you on other avenues you can take and we tell you, for instance, look, please rather stick to organic marketing methods at you it's not the right timing for you to start with youtube ads we will tell you this now we can even recommend you other people who can help you with this if you want but yeah so definitely use this opportunity this is a free call with you personally and you will see whether this makes sense for you or not this is not a sales call or something this is a very honest and open consultation just to see just for you to get feedback is this a right thing for you or not okay so if you want to decide then to do this with us and we think you're a good fit we think it makes sense for you and we think we can deliver results we do not offer any kind of group coachings or something we offer a done for you service where we basically do this for you as an agency yeah um we do not use any kind of superficial copy paste methods and templates and just say look you're one client and one niche and we give literally every client the same template no we always use tailored marketing strategies and at the very tailored and personalized approach to make sure that the results are excellent yeah given that we think that you're a good fit for us yeah we only work with clients who resonate with us on a personal level and where we think you are a good communicator yeah that's very important to me but if that's given and YouTube ads are, is the right thing for you, and you think, hey, I want to work with Matthias, you think, uh, I think he is able to help me with this, then of course we can talk about this if you want. But this consultation call should be predominantly for you to see whether YouTube ads is a proper solution or maybe not. So I hope this help video was very, very helpful for you. I hope this comprehensive and complete guide here could help you to understand if YouTube ads can help you, and how they can help you and if you decide to test it i basically gave you everything you need to be aware of and you can get started right today all right so that being said if you're interested on a free call just check out our website www.em-consulting.net you can apply for a free call there if you want you can also send me a message on instagram i will insert a link here on instagram below if you got any questions about youtube ads on youtube ads uh, if you're unsure or something just send me a message Ask me if you got questions or send me an email or something. Yeah. That being said, I will see you then on this call or in one of the next videos. All right. Till then, bye bye.